Hello and welcome to the Board Game Corner. Today we're going to be playing For Sale and uh, here on Board Game Arena and hopefully teach you how to play a wee bit as well so you can play. Uh, we've hosted a game and we've got five, five people total including myself so, so let's go. So in For Sale there's two main rounds. There's the bidding phase and then in the second round, you use the cards that you gain in the first round to bid for for uh, for, for points. So here we're going to start with fourteen coins, and it's my turn to start. I get to choose how much I want to start the auction off, and this is what we're auctioning for. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a two dollar bid. And we've got five players, so there's five cards out here. Each player will get one card each round, depending on where they finish in the auction. So Gamer has bid five. And Rodrigo has decided to pass, so Rodrigo got the lowest. And um, now we've got a choice here. We can bid either more than five, so six would be a sensible option or we can choose to pass and we would take the seven i'm going to pass in this situation i think bidding six here would make sense if you bid six you're very likely to end up with that 25 um, which is a good card and so it's it's not a bad move but uh, i'll explain a wee bit more as the game goes on and um, it will make a wee bit more sense so with these cards there are 30 different cards, one being the lowest and 30 being the highest. And the higher the card, the higher the number, the better the card is. So, yep, you want the 30 and you don't really want, you know, these low cards, one, two, three, etc. Makes it hard in the second round. Now, again, we've got the same choice. This game, a guy loves to start with that five. And in this one, it's it's quite a clever option. I think I'm going to bid here. May This one could go either way, but I am going to bid six here. And it's worked out quite nicely. Now, with the bidding, why that's worked out quite nicely for me is that if you win the bid, you have to pay the full amount that you've bid. So, Aussie Girl 06 here has bid seven. It's likely that Aussie Girl will win this. And I'm going to pass, so yep, Aussie Girl will win it. So they will have to pay the whole seven coins. For me, I didn't win. I came second with six coins, and so I actually only have to pay half the amount that I bid. So I only paid three coins. So I'm still on 10 coins over here. Still plenty of money to bid in further rounds. So it's in a lot of situations it's good to come second or third and not always good to win except maybe in this round look at that we've got 30 that's the highest card you can get and there's three rounds after this so we've got to be cautious of that i could pass now and get a very good card or i could bid seven and get in perhaps a wee bit of a bidding war now you could argue here i could have bid because that 30 is a very very good card but I've decided to pass here, save my money for the further rounds, and unfortunately, Aussie Girl was passed there. I was hoping that they would get in a bit of a bidding war, and one of them would pay far too much for the card. I was worried if I bid, that I would get in a bidding war, and I would end up getting second anyway. So it worked out quite well for the blue player over here. In that round, um, here we go again. So Rodrigo... In black here has bid seven now we've got a decision we can bid eight and we're very likely to get the 27 that'll only leave us with two coins left though and you can see well Aussie girl has no money left blue has a wee bit of money so we're sitting pretty here on 10 do I want to bid and take this out or do I want to take out the further rounds I'm going to pass. Now, I'm not sure if that's a good move or not there. It's 
Eight is a lot to spend. Eight is a lot to spend, so I'm going to pass. I'm going to take the four and hopefully get really good cards in the next two rounds. Because look at that, nobody has any money. Now, this is a Wii variant. Now, you can play without seeing other players' money. And uh, when the game first came out on Board Game Arena, that was the default. Actually, no, sorry, I take it back. We're not playing that variant. That was the bid. But you can play a variant now in which you can actually see the other player's money. Um, and because a big part of this game is knowing how much your other players have left and and kind of trying to predict what they might do. Because then you can get the most efficient bid. Now, we're shaping up to have a decent hand here. We've got two nice cards here. We've got two not-so-nice cards, a nice middling card. We're just going to bid everything we have left and hopefully get this 28. At the very least, maybe the 18. But let's see what happens. I don't want to bid uh, one just in case somebody's sitting there with two. I haven't been keeping track this game like, a, you know, ideally you would. Um... But, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. So, blue has beaten me there. Let's see. I think Rodrigo's spent quite a bit. So, yep, there we go. We've got second place there. That's all right with me. So, that's the phase one finished. And now we're on to phase two. Now, the money that you didn't spend from the first round, that goes to your points tally. So, I've got one dollar here. or a do One dollar is one point. Now you've got to choose which card you want to bid this round. And whoever gets highest will get this card, lowest this card, so on, so on. So what are we going to go for? Let's go for the 17. Okay, it worked out okay. Now, with this round, you want to be as efficient as possible and that can be quite difficult this one let's say you put a one down you're going to come last aren't you because one is the lowest card you can't beat anybody but even if i lose i'm still going to get six coins because that's that's the lowest one if you played a 30 you're going to get the 15 in that situation so, so in, in, in rounds in which there's a high minimum, it's good to play a low card. Or where there's not much difference between the lowest and the highest card. Here, people probably be playing higher cards because they don't want to get the zero. But maybe the zero is not so bad because these cards aren't that much better. Let's just try and not come last here. Play the 18. So that worked out okay, I think. Um... Although, to be fair, our round's not going so great so far. We, we haven't got very good numbers here, but we do have two cards left that are pretty decent. Now, this round, you just don't want to come last. Coming first doesn't have a huge benefit, but you just don't want to come last here. So, yeah, that was the perfect card to play. The 4 would have made us come last, but the 29 was overkill. Here, I think this is a good opportunity for our 29. Um, coming in the top 2 is good. And these ones, you don't get many points. Hopefully, we'll get first place. Wow, that's unfortunate. Okay, but again, it's not a huge difference between first place and second place, so maybe it's not too bad. And we've got one choice left. And there we go. That, that worked out pretty well as well. We played a four and we got eight coins for it. That's not too bad. Game 78 wins. Well done. And we got third place. Not too bad. Not great either. We were down the bottom of the pack there. And that's, you know, for sale sometimes. There is a wee bit of luck involved. Um, but if you put yourself in the right situation, then you... You give yourself a good shot at getting points. A lot of the times it does depend 
what the person sitting next to you or the person with the turn before you does, especially in that first round. You know, if you're sitting next to somebody that likes to bid big, then you can get stuck with a lot of small cards. Not sure if that happened to us this round. Maybe we just misplayed a few. But hey, that's how it goes. Third place, not too bad. We haven't improved our ranking. We haven't gone down either. Just plus zero to our ELO. We're going to go ahead and thumbs up everybody. Because that was a good game. I hope you enjoyed it. It was quite fast paced. I hope I explained everything there. But we will be playing more games in the future. So stay tuned. If you didn't quite catch everything, we'll be going over it again. And hopefully you can enjoy for sale in the future too. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.